Look at that booty. Ready, bud? All right, so yesterday I messed up. We were supposed to come to the schoolyard, and we went to uh, Cottonwood instead. Uh, so what happened is there's a bunch of traffic on Corey Road, right, going to Cottonwood. He's not a fan of the traffic, right? So we are, today we went to the schoolyard, and instead of going doing anything, Yard, we just walked up. I was gonna work over there on meandering way because they only come by like one or two cars at a time. But this little spot right here, good boy, right? Is I'm close to the what's that called? The light, so I'm gonna get traffic coming from that way. And so, right there, you see he's waiting and not wanting to come. This is where I would not correct and just use my least pressure, right? I just want him to follow that least pressure. And then I can do this food. So when the cars are there, we're, uh, so I noticed even over by the school, one or two cars, right? Good job. He's kind of nervous, right? He's just walking down the sidewalk with one or two cars. So why would I come here where there's a bunch of cars? Because we're... I would say this is about 60 feet away from the road. So we're getting the sound of the cars. I don't know what it is. It's the sound of the cars. And we're just going to do some heel drills right here. And then when all the cars are gone, we're going to go sit. Good. All right. We're getting the sound of the cars. We're getting the look of the cars coming from both ways. And so, like, at this distance from both the light and the street, even when they're taken off to come, they're going to be kind of scattered instead of one big old thing. Right? And so what happened yesterday is when we were going by Coit, uh, there's this road called Dumont that goes by the park. Good boy. It's just an in, uh, insecure dog, right? With some stuff. It's real weird, right? Good boy. So the reason I didn't stay by the school is because I wasn't going to get much work. There, it's it's really random when the cars come by over there. Here it's busier, but I can I can get my distance away, right? So, oh, good boy. And sit. Hey. Good. Right, so I don't know if he break. I don't know if he was looking and getting worried. So, right here, this is the distance where we can kind of counter condition the saucer thing. Counter condition is they're scared of something, use food or whatever, right, to get them to not be scared. Food doesn't reinforce fear, but your your actions and your energy will. Um. Boop, 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 boop. And so even over there, he wasn't like, we were so close on the sidewalk. We were so close to the cars that good job. All right, so there's a bunch of cars coming by. Let's see if he looks. Good. Uh, all right. So I didn't know if he was going to take food because he wasn't yesterday. Even at a distance, he wasn't taking food. But over there, the cars are more bunched up because there's lights really close to each other. So all the cars are more bunched up and it takes longer before they spread out. Whereas here, they almost immediately spread out, right? So the difference between counter conditioning and desensitizing is like here, the, if he wasn't taking the food, then we'd just be desensitizing, right? He'd just be hearing the noises and not freaking out. What's your name? Moose. Good boy. Down. Good. What? Right. Hey. What you doing, fool? Hey. Hey. Down. Good. Probably shouldn't reward that, but I'm going to. There's cars coming by. Oh. Very into what's on the ground. 
so I'm not going to worry about that too much. All right. And then now we're going to have the whole way back to do the same thing, right? So on the whole way back, I'd say I'd say this is a at least a quarter mile, right? Close to a half a mile. I think it's close to a half a mile. So we're going to hear all the calls. And then I'll just watch if he starts being overly... There's parts where it goes closer. So we're going to walk on the path and it's going to get close. If it seems too much, then I'm not going to go quite as far. But I want him to be a little bit nervous about it. So we can get through it, right? I just don't want him to freak out going, oh my god, now all the calls. Good boy. Right? So it seems not exciting, but it's a lot going on, right? It's a lot of cars coming by, not bunched up. I think that's what the, because I've never noticed it that bad, right, until yesterday. They usually, even when it's a bunch, now we're, we're over there by where I'm at, we're, we're about this far away from it, so. I need to get closer. I need to go work him in the grass more. But when we're walking on the bike path, he's never, I mean, he shows a little concern, but he's never been freaked out like he was yesterday. Huh, buddy? You want a little, uh, anyway, that's long enough for this bullshit. Right? So, right? And so say he was to get, here's the other thing I do. If he's kind of freaked out because of all these cars right here, what'd you find to eat? Oh, those little, those little nuts. Say he was kind of freaked out. I, I kind of just stop walking, right? So say we're walking and then there's a bunch of cars and he starts going like this. I kind of just stay there and let him. And then the cars will disappear and I let him process that nothing bad has happened, right? See, they're all. I mean, they're coming through a green light. So when they come through the green light, they're real spread out. But if he was freaking out, like, unless he's jumping all over the place, then I would back up. But if he's just kind of like, what the hell is going on there? I just kind of stand still. Once all the noises go by. So yesterday when it was happening, like, when it was, even when it was like that, he wouldn't take food from me. What are you eating, fool? Oh, oh. Good. Break. I don't know why I said break like that. So anyways, that's one of his little quirks. The traffic. What is that, dude? A wood chip? All right. So today's traffic day. 